interesting article here about the best handbags for men from Hypebeast, which is an interesting oxy, bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Best handbags for men. But I've been thinking about this only because of my um, in-between phase of my Cambridge Satchel Vivian Westwood thing that I got ages ago when I used to work there. So I'm in a bit of an in-between stage at the moment where, for me personally, tote bags are a bit too dainty, right? They're a bit too small. They're not the most practical thing in the world. But then on the other side, messenger bags are too big and clunky. And then uh, kind of like side bag pouch things, you know, those kind of things. They're not something I'm really bang on either. And they're a little bit too small. So you do, you probably do need something with a bit more, you know, uh, volume uh, capabilities in it. I was thinking of getting that, you know, that, um, what is it called? Is it a Damier? Not Damier. What that, what's that Louis tone kind of shopping tote thing, right? Because I remember th- there was a period in time, especially from people like Hiroshi Fujiwara and Andrew Bunny, uh, who used to kind of, who got me gassed on the idea of carrying around one of these. Um, I think it was it was probably a Japanese thing, like a staff. I remember Hiroshi did one, and he spray painted his one, yeah? So I remember there was a period in time where um, some of the older streetwear dudes, especially some of the Japanese-based guys, were, like, trying to make this cool. They are trying to make this, like, a thing. These, these, uh, this this Louis Vuitton tote bag. I'm not sure what the actual name of the actual bag is, but I think it might be... Is it Never Fall? Is that it? Never, yeah, maybe it's Never Fall, because it says the price there. So... This one never fall from from Louis Vuitton. So I remember he actually had a had one, and if I seem to remember correctly, he might have got a custom strap, or maybe he got leather from Louis Vuitton old piece that he had before, and he got them to basically put a strap on the edge to edge of this. So essentially, you had the kind of you know the normal handbag straps here that you hold in your hand, and then there was a strap over that you could put on your shoulder or put across your shoulders, which I thought was a pretty clever idea. And I got the thinking behind it because that sort of like handbag baggy thing, if you've ever been sat next to a girl and she's got one of those things on the train and you quickly peek over, or I don't know, when you glance over once you're sitting, you can tell that there's a, she's like, you know, she essentially fit her whole life into a handbag. You can put water, headphones, books, uh, whatever. It's just, it just keeps taking stuff, you know what I mean? Um, it's, as I, it got probably in the name in it, never fought. But it never quite took off, obviously. Maybe because you know most people can't afford a legit version of this bag in the first place, but it would never was something that kind of gained the attraction. And then obviously the kind of uh, man purse sort of thing came into trend for a bit, but again, it's just not big enough to really carry the things that a guy would need. It's not like we have many things; it's like we have just big things, isn't it? Because I think women have different. Women probably carry many items of like many different items, right? Like lip gloss, this, that, uh, face spray, mist, whatever. The the this one, there's always things they're carrying, whereas we just tend to carry big, bulky things at the same time. So you need a bag, you can just chuck it all in and forget about it. So I think the handbag resurgent thing in the men's industry makes sense in that regard. Because I think, you know, again, I don't think I'm uh, unique in the idea of wanting a bag that might be able to fit more stuff in than the stuff that I've got at the moment. So this is kind of a cool article to kind of expand on. And again, that Telfar bag is probably a good example of it, isn't it? Why it's been going so crazy at the moment. Da, 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 da. There's an article from Hype. He says, In recent years, accessories have become just as important as the clothes that they adorn. One in particular have become a street style must have. The Dior celebrating, with Dior celebrating its uh, archives by reissuing numerous now sought after saddle bags and Virgil Abloh reimagining men's of Louis Vuitton um, carriers, bags have become a fashion week showgoer staple. Whether they're wearing one of Jackie, Jack, Jack Meese's miniature bags or the, on the wrist or tapping tire of the crater with a vintage Chanel around the neck. Those street star favorites have proved that the man bag has no longer a taboo face. The bag has become a staple for men in its own right. The idea of a man wearing a bag was until recently uh, laid in, in stigma with the exception of a backpack or gym duffel. Items such as the tote bag and fanny packs have been fairly standard for all genders for some time now but these days handbags are no longer just a women's wear staple instead um they're stepping out in 2020 which would be quite cool to see more brands doing that because again like i said i just think it's a practicality thing i think that's why that's why i tend to like actually just thinking about it i think that's why i tend to like going back to the supreme thing i think that's why i tend to like the ones that they make they make these little patch pat bag satchel things that are probably a little bit bigger than duff a little bit smaller than duffel bag but they're a little bit bigger than the messenger bag and i think that's the kind of perfect size you don't necessarily get from people 
or from brands nowadays maybe because people don't really want them anymore i don't know but let's see if i can find it here. um view all right let's see if this works here let me just quickly get something to look at i remember seeing i thinking yeah that's that's the perfect size of those kind of bags let me see where is it so this is the one right so they make these so they've got obviously the backpack that you are well known and love which is you know this edition of the backpack is goes crazy i love it the mesh on the front the camo version the red version is beautiful and then they've got obviously the standard duffel bag which might be a little bit too big right so that's like what 48 liters that's a huge duffel bag and then they've got this one coming up now that's the perfect size right it's like what it's like six liters but it's got the it's got obviously the capabilities of it being a messenger kind of like sat not messenger but sort of like side bag but it's also got that kind of width that you can fit more in it like the you know from here to here sort of thing if you get what i mean from where the cup holder thing is so but again it may it might be a little bit too small for everyone's needs and you can't really fit too many books in there maybe you can fit a sandwich and a drink and that's about it right so the the idea that you can maybe have all of that chucked into one of these totes makes complete sense um and again they're priced fairly decently i think as well for the most part but yeah let's, let's see what bags they've chosen here on the list you've got first you've got a gucci morpheus shoulder bag which i'm not really a fan of. i think again that's too feminine for me and doesn't doesn't seem that practical um this number this number from gucci is a perfect hybrid handbag channeling many masculine tropes through its worn leather subdued colorway Ugh, masculine tropes i don't again what are you talking about Versace black leather man purse shoulder bag again too small for me if i'm gonna have those kind of pouches i'd rather just get like an actual pouch an actual kind of like you know shoulder bag thing instead of this little yeah although it does look good on to be fair but still it's a bit too gaudy for me i'm not a fan then you've got the linda white astro bag which looks fairly cool too it's essentially like an update on those sort of like big canvas cut to bags you see people wearing in like columbia road flower market then you got the Jacquees Le Gaggio, obviously, um, which is again too small for me in that regard. I quite like this dual standard um, cartoon crossbody bag as well, with a little zip or the little type of ties at the top. Then you got this Louis Vuitton puzzle bag, of course. That I'm sure most of you know is really, really doing bits and numbers at the moment. And again, great outfit choice there. Then you got the off-white black belted carrier camera bag, which. Mm, again not for me a bit too small and of course in my opinion the sense so the telfar um orange medium shopper tote which is i think some of one maybe the standout bag of this season um is one of my favorites again you've got the ability to kind of put it over your shoulder be able to wear it just as a normal toe big embossed logo on the side nothing too gaudy it's perfect then you've got the uber camp mini deer bag whatever that is how's that meant to be worn no, let's get no don't tell me just show me the pictures no nah, not for me then you got the prada mini safiano leather crossbody bag again a bit too small but i guess if you want to wear something that isn't you know too blatant you can probably put it over your shirt under your shirt if you go that clubbing that might be a good option for you but you know and it's again it, i say only but for 407 27 dollars or a prada little you know shoulder bag it isn't too bad if you think about it i don't know but yeah, um, so far my favorite is obviously the Telfar shopping tour. I think it's a real standout piece this season, and I um, can't wait to see how guys kind of take it because it, all it takes really is a Zara or a H and M deciding, you know what, these handbag things are in, and they just start flooding the shop with them. That's all it takes. It just takes one of those kind of main stream shops to decide to do that that way, and then all of a sudden every guy's kind of trying to go out and get a handbag. I wonder how that makes girls think, how it makes them feel. You know I mean, they've had such free reign to do what they want with handbags and get any bag they want. And now the dudes just rock up. <laughs> they just rock up and start queuing when the girls start selling out or start kind of, you know, driving up the price of these handbags because dudes want them. Crazy, though. But yeah, 